This is today's front page from the Minneapolis Star Tribune. Every time the Olympics gets going, I'm all ears. You know why? It's about as close as you get to worship in a secular culture. And the language becomes religious. Sometimes people will say, Piper, you're always talking about the glory of God. Glory of God. Don't you know, nobody knows what you're talking about. That's a religious word. If it's a religious word, why is it in the headline on the front page of the Minneapolis Star Tribune? If nobody knows what the word glory means, why is it on the front page of the newspaper? Opener ablaze in glory. That's my, that's my language. <laughs> I, that's my language. Because everybody does know what glory is. I didn't watch it, but I, I saw that picture right there. That's pretty impressive. A lot of firecrackers. You know what I watched? Hurricane Charlie. That's something. <laughs> Do any comparing? <laughs> You're out, Athens. They exchanged the glory of God for images. Athens ablaze with pop, pop, pop. And Florida devastated with the breeze of his little finger. And if God wanted to take this country out, he could take it out in a minute. And we're so impressed with man-made achievements, especially our own. hundred-yard dash or a swim. Now mark this, I love to watch the Olympics. I have my favorites. Gymnastics is as good as it gets. And there's a fine line we walk, right? Between that being the object of our worship and that being a little tiny echo of what Christ could do if he did a floor exercise. <laughs> Not three backflips, ten. Nailing it with a perfect 10 every time. And then doing it with his eyes closed. And that's just the beginning of his glory. If, if the Olympics set you on a quest for glory, go for it. If they make you long, if you come away from watching these remarkable achievements, humanly speaking, set you aflame with where did that come from? Why am I so drawn to that? Why do I jump up and leap when Mark Spitz's record is surpassed and eight golds in swimming happens? Why? And then go and say, Bible, tell me why. Tell me why. And the Bible has all those important answers. It's because we have exchanged the glory of God for the glory of man. And Hurricane Charlie and Athens exists at God's decree to lead you to him.